six signs a woman is more sexually passionate than you realized, most men miss this. Leave a like on the video my love and if you are new to the channel subscribe to receive new advice, do this to help the channel continue to grow, leaving a like is all I ask as a gift. Hey there, it's Pamela Raquel. Today, we're diving deep into the unmistakable signs that she's more sexually passionate than you might have realized. It's all about those hidden cues and behaviors that reveal her true desires. By the end of this video, you'll be equipped to recognize the signs that she's not just interested, but passionately so. Ready to uncover the depths of her passion and connect on a whole new level? Let's get started and decode these fiery signals together. But before we dive in, if you're curious about improving your dating skills, why not book a free strategy call with one of our dating coaches? Just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Changing the topic to intimacy, picture this, you're chatting with a girl about something mundane like the weather or what you had for lunch when suddenly, she steers the conversation toward more intimate topics. She might casually mention her favorite romantic getaway or ask about your wildest fantasies. Boom, that's a red-hot sign that she's got more than small talk on her mind, my friend. When a woman deliberately shifts the conversation to private, sensual subjects, it's like she's giving you a VIP pass to her innermost thoughts. She's testing the waters, gauging your reaction, and hoping you'll take the bait. So, if you find yourself discussing the finer points of massage techniques or the best way to set the mood, chances are she's not just making idle chit-chat. She's inviting you to explore the depths of her desire, one tantalizing topic at a time. The question is, are you ready to dive in? Flirtatious teasing, ah, the art of flirtatious teasing. When a woman starts engaging in more provocative banter than usual, it's like she's waving a giant neon sign that reads, I'm into you. She might playfully poke fun at your quirks, challenge you to a battle of wits, or even throw in a few suggestive one-liners that leave you wondering if she's just joking or if there's more to her mischievous grin. Here's the thing, when a woman ramps up the flirtatious teasing, she's not just trying to make you laugh. She's creating a charged atmosphere, one where the sexual tension is thick enough to cut with a knife. It's her way of saying, I'm comfortable enough with you to let my guard down and show you my naughty side. So when you find yourself in the midst of a flirtatious verbal sparring match, don't be afraid to give as good as you get. Match her wit, her humor, and her boldness. Show her that you can keep up with her playful provocations, and watch as the sparks fly between you. Just remember, with great flirting power comes great responsibility. Use your newfound skills wisely, young grasshopper. Playful touching, gentlemen, if you thought words were the only way to flirt, think again. When a woman is feeling frisky, she'll start finding excuses to get her hands on you, quite literally. We're talking about those playful yet suggestive touches that send shivers down your spine and make you wonder if she's trying to tell you something. Maybe she'll accidentally brush her hand against yours when reaching for the popcorn during a movie, or she'll give you a lingering hug that lasts just a bit longer than it should. She might even get bold and straighten your collar, using it as an opportunity to let her fingers graze your neck. These seemingly innocent touches are anything but accidental, my friends. Here's the deal, when a woman starts getting touchy-feely, she's testing your boundaries and gauging your receptiveness to her advances. She's hoping that you'll reciprocate. Maybe by placing a hand on the small of her back or brushing a stray lock of hair behind her ear. It's a dance of physical flirtation, one that requires a delicate balance of give and take. So, the next time your lady love starts getting handsy, don't be afraid to play along. Respond to her touches with gentle, confident gestures of your own. Show her that you're picking up what she's putting down, and let the electricity flow between you. Just remember, consent is always key. Make sure your touches are welcome and respectful, and you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of playful touching. Sensual body language, alright fellas, it's time to talk about the language of love, and we're not talking about French or Italian. We're talking about the subtle yet powerful cues that women give off with their body language when they're feeling particularly sensual. Picture this, you're out on a date, and suddenly she starts moving in ways that seem designed to draw your attention to her curves. She might arch her back, emphasizing her chest, or slowly cross and uncross her legs, giving you a tantalizing glimpse of her thighs. These movements are no accident, my friend. They're a deliberate attempt to captivate your senses and stir your desire. When a woman starts using her body to communicate her sensuality, it's like she's inviting you to appreciate her in a whole new light. She's showcasing her assets, hoping to leave you weak in the knees and hungry for more. 
It's a dance of seduction, one that requires no words but speaks volumes about her intentions. So, the next time you catch her moving in ways that make your heart race, take a moment to appreciate the artistry of her sensual body language. Let her know that you see her, that you appreciate her, and that you're more than happy to follow her lead down the path of passion. Finding value in our discussion so far? Please like this video and comment your thoughts below. And if you're interested in discovering how to meet more women and date with confidence, you can start by reserving a free 60-minute dating strategy call with one of our coaches. Just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Making suggestive comments, listen up, gentlemen, because we're about to delve into the world of suggestive comments, and no, we're not talking about the ones your grandpa makes at Thanksgiving dinner. We're talking about those sly, sexy remarks that women drop when they're feeling particularly frisky. Imagine this, you're having a conversation with her, and out of nowhere, she starts dropping hints about her sexual interests or experiences. Maybe she'll casually mention how she loves the feeling of silk sheets against her skin, or she'll ask if you've ever had a particularly steamy encounter in a public place. These comments are not random musings, my friends. They're carefully crafted to get your mind racing and your blood pumping. When a woman starts making suggestive comments, she's inviting you to join her in a world of erotic possibilities. She's letting you know that she's not afraid to explore her desires, and she's hoping that you'll be the one to take her on that journey. It's a tantalizing invitation, one that requires a delicate balance of wit, charm, and boldness to accept. So, the next time she starts dropping sexy hints, don't be afraid to play along. Respond with suggestive comments of your own. Let her know that you're picking up what she's putting down, and watch as the heat rises between you. Just remember, consent and respect are always paramount. Make sure your comments are welcomed and appreciated, and you'll be well on your way to mastering the art of suggestive repartee. Physical closeness, alright, guys, it's time to talk about the power of proximity. When a woman is feeling particularly drawn to you, she'll start finding ways to close the gap between you both physically and emotionally. It's like she's a magnet, and you're the metal she can't resist. Picture this, you're out on a date, and suddenly your lady starts finding excuses to get closer to you. She might lean in when you're talking, letting her hair brush against your shoulder, or she'll scoot her chair closer to yours at the dinner table. These aren't random movements, my friends. They're deliberate attempts to bridge the distance between you and create a sense of intimacy. When a woman starts seeking out physical closeness, it's like she's saying, I want to be near you. I want to feel your energy. I want to bask in your presence. It's a powerful signal of her attraction, one that speaks louder than words ever could. So, the next time you find your girl edging closer and closer, don't be afraid to reciprocate. Meet her halfway. Let your own body language communicate your desire for closeness, and watch as the sparks fly between you. Just remember, physical closeness is not an invitation for unwanted advances. Make sure your movements are respectful and consensual, and you'll be well on your way to building a deeper, more intimate connection with her. There you have it, gentlemen. The secret signs that reveal a woman is more sexually passionate than you ever realized. So what's next for you? Discover the strongest signs of sexual tension, or learn where women want to be touched. If you've made it this far, my love, comment below with the word, 100%, or something else to let me know, to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. When to walk away from a girl, warning signs she's not worth it. Hey, my name's Pamela Raquel. If you have watched our video on how to be more confident with women, then you will know that girls value those who don't need them. Someone that can walk away when they know they are getting less than they deserve actually makes them appear more attractive. Counterproductive as that sounds, that's just the way that women are wired. Remember, girls don't want someone who just settles, they want to feel they are dating a high-value, limited-edition person. But also, you need to know when to walk away when she is treating you poorly, because you ain't got time for that. So, 3, 2, 1, let's go. She is emotionally damaged, everything from toxic behavior, red flag alarms, insensitivity, disrespect, bad manners, high insecurities. Now, I'm not saying that you should avoid a girl who is on her healing journey, but if you are with someone who is making your life worse, then you have my permission, my friend, to leave her. And if you want to find out about toxic behaviors and a little bit more about red flags, then check out our previous videos. She doesn't progress from just texting, this applies to the dating phase. 
Texting seems fun and it's what we all do nowadays. However, you can't actually get to know her through text alone. You two have to be chatting, and you have to try and arrange a plan to meet up in person. But if she seems flaky, too anxious, or cancels last minute, or changes the subject when you try to bring up a date, this is your cue to leave. Well, obviously unless there's a valid reason that she hasn't followed through with plans. But you need to understand that you need to leave her and find a girl that will jump at the chance to see you in person. Do not hang around with flaky women. If she was interested in high value, she would want to meet up with you. Remember, you ain't got time for that. She doesn't support you, now, I'm not talking about money. Is she actually happy about your successes? Does she smile when you tell her about the things that get you excited? Does she ever offer to pick up the bill or does she get you a surprise gift? Does she care about your goals and your ambitions? Because let's face it, she doesn't have to help you achieve your goals, but at least to give you space to do what you need. And if these statements make you scratch your head, walk away. There are many girls out there that will treat you like the king or the queen that you are. She is abusive, physically, emotionally, psychologically, or even has controlling behavior. No matter the abuse, please get out and walk away. You deserve much more, and you will not experience being treated well if you stay with this girl. She disrespects you in front of your friends, there is banter, and then there is plain old disrespect. And if she starts to put you down to make your friends like her, and she goes so far and continuously gives you passive-aggressive statements, then please don't walk, run away. You are texting a girl who is in a relationship, now, I know a lot of you watching have been in this situation. When you are texting a girl, you may feel the vibes and she tells you she's in a relationship but it's not really going well and she isn't happy. So you think, well, I'll stick around till they break up. But a lot of the time, she's just texting you for emotional fulfillment because she's not getting it from her other half. She's using you. And take it from my experience, people, if she was unhappy she would leave. It just means she has no self-worth to realize she deserves better. So 1. Ignore any girl who is in a relationship and 2. Avoid any girls who have low self-worth. You both want different things, she doesn't want kids, but you do. You want an open relationship, and she doesn't. Now, these extreme relationship decisions cannot be compromised on, and this also includes marriage. You guys need to respect each other's wishes, and if you can sacrifice and stay happy, then great. However, if you don't want to give up anything you want to have your end goal, you have to walk away. You or her is confused, if she leaves you wondering, what is this relationship, and will it ever actually progress from how we are right now? If you have to think about it, then it's time you need to walk away. Trust your gut, because if you felt loved, cherished, and willing to share a life with her, you wouldn't be this confused, right? And if this applies to her, if she tells you she does not know what she wants, don't just wait around for her. Walk away and get on with your life. She just got out of a relationship. I do not care how much she tells you she doesn't love her ex or how bad they were, she won't know how she feels about the breakup until she is literally single and alone. Please be aware that you could be a rebound, and you deserve way much more than this. You are just friends, and she doesn't want anything more, now, you may see this as well, not very damaging, but wait. If you really admire and care or even love a girl and she doesn't feel the same or she's in a relationship or she is blatantly friend zoning you, stop the hurt and please walk away. It's not healthy to spend time around someone who doesn't feel the same as you do. You need to get over this girl by having that space to do so. She breaks up or cheats on you, this could be a mixed opinion about this because yes, you can fix a relationship, and you can work through what you need to do. However, if she broke up because she didn't feel right, or she abused the relationship by cheating, she shouldn't really get a second chance. Life is too short to settle for someone and to prepare to lose everything. So I would say, if you've gone through this, walk away. You realize you are no good for her, you could be the emotionally unavailable one, have toxic traits, still think about your ex, and you can't see a future with her. So be the bigger person and walk away. Now, I get it. You probably don't want to walk away from her. You want to stick around and give her ultimatums, changes, and compromises. But please see that you are high value, and like the quote says, there's plenty of fish in the sea, and you are strong enough to walk away. Remember, you won't find anyone better until you lose the wrong girl. I hope this list gave you some reassurance of when you should walk away, whether you are in the dating phase, the hookup phase, relationship, marriage, yada yada. If you've made it this far, my love, 
comment below with the word 100% or something else to let me know to confirm that you've received the knowledge from the video so far. For more interesting topics, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video and share it later. Let's continue. How to make girls chase you, 9 tricks to keep girls coming to you. Hey, my name's Pamela Raquel, and if you have watched our video on how to be more confident with women, then you will know that girls value those who don't need them and someone that can walk away when they know they are getting less than they deserve actually makes them appear more attractive. Counterproductive as that sounds, that's just the way that women are wired. Remember, girls don't want someone who just settles, they want to feel they are dating a high value, limited edition person. But also, you need to know when to walk away when she is treating you poorly because you ain't got time for that. So 3, 2, 1, let's go. She is emotionally damaged. Everything from toxic behavior, red flag alarms, insensitivity, disrespect, bad manners, high insecurities. Now, I'm not saying that you should avoid a girl who is on her healing journey, but if you are with someone who is making your life worse, then you have my permission, my friend, to leave her. And if you want to find out about toxic behaviors and a little bit more about red flags, then check out our previous videos. She doesn't progress from just texting. This applies to the dating phase. Texting seems fun, and it's what we all do nowadays. However, you can't actually get to know her through text alone. You two have to be chatting, and you have to try and arrange a plan to meet up in person. But if she seems flaky, too anxious, or cancels last minute, or changes the subject when you try to bring up a date, this is your cue to leave. Well, obviously, unless there's a valid reason that she hasn't followed through with plans. But you need to understand that you need to leave her and find a girl that will jump at the chance to see you in person. Do not hang around with flaky women. If she was interested in high value, she would want to meet up with you. Remember, you ain't got time for that. She doesn't support you. Now, I'm not talking about money. Is she actually happy about your successes? Does she smile when you tell her about the things that get you excited? Does she ever offer to pick up the bill or get you a surprise gift? Does she care about your goals and your ambitions? Because let's face it, she doesn't have to help you achieve your goals, but at least to give you space to do what you need. And if these statements make you scratch your head, walk away. There are many girls out there that will treat you like the king or the queen that you are. She is abusive. Physically, emotionally, psychologically, or even has controlling behavior. No matter the abuse, please get out and walk away. You deserve much more, and you will not experience being treated well if you stay with this girl. She disrespects you in front of your friends. There is banter, and then there is plain old disrespect. And if she starts to put you down to make your friends like her, and she goes so far and continuously gives you passive-aggressive statements, then please don't walk, run away. You are texting a girl who is in a relationship. Now, I know a lot of you watching have been in this situation. When you are texting a girl, you may feel the vibes, and she tells you she's in a relationship but it's not really going well, and she isn't happy. So you think, well, I'll stick around till they break up. But a lot of the time, she's just texting you for emotional fulfillment because she's not getting it from her other half. She's using you. And take it from my experience, people, if she was unhappy, she would leave. It just means she has no self-worth to realize she deserves better. So 1, ignore any girl who is in a relationship, and 2, avoid any girls who have low self-worth. You both want different things. She doesn't want kids, but you do. You want an open relationship, and she doesn't. Now, these extreme relationship decisions cannot be compromised on, and this also includes marriage. You guys need to respect each other's wishes, and if you can sacrifice and stay happy, then great. However, if you don't want to give up anything you want to have your end goal, you have to walk away. You or her is confused. If she leaves you wondering what is this relationship, and will it ever actually progress from how we are right now? If you have to think about it, then it's time you need to walk away. Trust your gut because if you felt loved, cherished, and willing to share a life with her, you wouldn't be this confused, right? And if this applies for her, if she tells you she does not know what she wants, don't just wait around for her, walk away and get on with your life. She just got out of a relationship. I do not care how much she tells you she doesn't love her ex or how bad they were, she won't know how she feels about the breakup until she is literally single and alone. Please be aware that you could be a rebound, and you deserve way much more than this. You are just friends and she doesn't want anything more. 
Now, you may see this as well not very damaging, but wait. If you really admire and care, or even love a girl, and she doesn't feel the same or she's in a relationship or she is blatantly friend zoning you, stop the hurt and please walk away. It's not healthy to spend time around someone who doesn't feel the same as you do. You need to get over this girl by having that space to do so. She breaks up or cheats on you. This could be a mixed opinion about this because yes, you can fix a relationship, and you can work through what you need to do. However, if she broke up because she didn't feel right or she abused the relationship by cheating, she shouldn't really get a second chance. Life is too short to settle for someone and to prepare to lose everything. So, I would say, if you've gone through this, walk away. You realize you are no good for her. You could be the emotionally unavailable one, have toxic traits, still think about your ex, and you can't see a future with her. So be the bigger person and walk away. Now, I get it, you probably don't want to walk away from her. You want to stick around and give her ultimatums and changes and sacrifices and compromises, but please see that you are high value, and like the quote says, there's plenty of fish in the sea, and you are strong enough to walk away. And remember, you won't find anyone better until you lose the wrong girl. I hope this list gave you some reassurance of when you should walk away, whether you are in the dating phase, the hookup phase, relationship, marriage, yada yada. There's a whole heap of tips in this video, and it would make me feel amazing if you could leave your comments below and tell me why you liked this video, and I will see you in the next video. All the best to you. Give us a huge thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye.